cry. No, I'm not gonna cry. It. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm in love. <laughs> this glides so easily. I feel like a librarian. Oh my god, this book is so good. <laughs> if I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I for this way. Just ended one vlog and we're starting off a new one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of the readathon. My current read is Mina and the Undead. This is my second book of the readathon. It fits the prompt of reading a book with orange or black on the cover. If you haven't seen, I have um, days one to three already up on my channel, so make sure you go watch those first before you watch this one. I thought I'd give you an overview of this book so far because it's been a couple of days. I don't think I even gave you an overview in the last vlog. This book follows Mina when she visits her sister Libby in New Orleans. Libby works at, I think it's like a horror mansion. You know, um, like people go to those uh, like horror fests and there's like live actors and they're all dressed up and stuff and they like jump out at you. I, I think that's what she works at. That was the vision I'm getting in my head anyway. And however the house is themed on different horror films so there's texas chainsaw massacre um an interview with a vampire halloween and it's just all that good stuff i really want to go like it seems so much fun however i have just gotten to the part in the book and don't worry this isn't a spoiler because it's on the blurb where mina has discovered a dead body within the mansion the imagery in this book is really well done, like I can picture it all so clearly, which is a bit disturbing at times, but within the victim's hand was a lock of hair and the hair resembled Mina and her sister Libby's hair, which is dark and curly and the police have just taken a lock of their hair to like match up the DNA. Uh, that's as far as I've got. and. I am really liking this. I think this is going to be a really good book. I feel like this would make, a, like, I know I'm only 70 pages in, but I feel like this would make a, such a good film. The film student in me is coming out and I want to make this into a film. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am really enjoying it. I think it's excellent so far. It's really fast paced and it's not too long either. I think it's just under 300 pages, which is, I feel like is a really good size for a YA horror novel the one thing that i'm not too sure about with this book is there seems to be a bit of an insta love trip um well on one end anyway um i mean i think it is just a crush but it's very full-on at the moment like every couple of sentences um our main characters like oh my god he's so gorgeous like oh my god i wouldn't mind getting close to him and i'm just like girl chill out you've known him for like two days but i suppose that's how crushes work but i'm just worried that it will become insta love um better not otherwise that's like one of my least favorite tropes however insta love aside this book also focuses on the like troubled dynamics of sibling relationships and I really like that. I feel like it has the potential to make me cry because things with families always make me cry. I don't know why but they do because I have a good relationship with my family but I just get overwhelmed and then I tear up. Um, so this may be a tear jerker. Although it's a horror it could still make me cry. And under the stars, you pack up your car, cause you're going far away from here. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stall, but I never call. Okay, so I just had my lunch. It's very tasty. However, just a pre-warning. Um, make sure you cook if you cover something in honey and then fry it make sure you cook it on a on a lower temp <laughs> because kind of turns into toffee um 
which is what happened with my halloumi and my teeth kind of hurt so i had to go brush my teeth taylor pre-sale tickets went on sale today now i didn't have pre-sale um but my friend did and i've seen all the videos on tiktok and they're so extraordinarily expensive um don't have very high hopes and also the date of the tickets that I want go on sale the day that I'm traveling down to my graduation so I'm keeping I'm not getting my hopes up because I feel like I'm not going to get them so I may just have to stick to live streams <laughs> to see Taylor <laughs> I'm gonna cry no I'm not gonna cry I'm not getting my hopes up I'm gonna be fine Hello, um, we are now cosy, I've got my Joshua Bassett hoodie on, I've still got the fan on because I'm trying to um, recreate autumn, <laughs> but um, I've decided to continue reading uh, Mina and the Undead on my Kindle just because one, I'm lying down. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm too lazy to hold the book up and it's like more comfortable if I read it on my Kindle and two I feel like I can read quicker on my Kindle so not me having to google every single street name that they mentioned in this book just so I get the correct image in my head also I have a theory as to who I think the vampire is already um very early on though like I'm not even halfway through the book so stay tuned to see whether I'm correct. They're going to a, it's called Fang Fest and it's like a little vampire festival and I wanna go so bad. I hope this is a real thing cause I wanna go. I'm glad that I changed this book over to be my book that I'm not reading in the dark because I think if I was to read this in the dark, it would have scared me quite a bit. Luckily it's daytime so it's, it's calming me down like I'm, I'm like okay the vampires aren't really here but i just read a section in the book there's like these diary entries of vampires in the past i think they're from 1932 and it's like really descriptive and i just think if i was to read this in the dark i'd be terrified um so that's fun i have just reached the halfway mark um, on my Kindle it's saying I'm 52% and my suspicions are still there for who the killer is and I don't trust them. I'm going to feel so guilty if I'm wrong <laughs> because I literally hate them. Anyway, um, I have on my Kindle it's saying I have about three and a half hours left which is exciting. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Again, another good book for the readathon. My suspicions are faltering. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sticking to my guns. I have the killer in my mind. I didn't really read much last night after I stopped vlogging, but I did get to chapter 20 page 162 of Mina and the Undead and I'm really 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 enjoying this I think this might be my favorite book so far of the readathon I mean it's literally the second book but I'm really enjoying it and I still am convinced that I know who the killer is um it's not too obvious because I usually fall into that trap and I like believe that it's the person who the author's like nudging me against it's like oh it's this person and then it doesn't turn out to be them at all um but i feel like i have it down and i don't trust them at all they're making out to be like a really good person but i have some suspicions watch it not be them at all and i'll be so stupid but i am convinced i know and then i read one chapter of don't speak i read it on my kindle um but I'm not sure if I like it. I know I can't judge it by the first chapter, but I think the first chapter was from the killer's POV. And it was very, very descriptive. So they were following this teenage girl and just the way 
that they were describing her i was like i don't know if i want to read this so i'm going to give this another go tonight it's annoying because this is the book i have to read in the dark so i have to wait until the night to read it um i mean i could try and find somewhere dark to read it <laughs> but yeah i i'm going to continue reading it but if i don't like it i'm gonna dnf my plans for today are to finish mina and the undead i don't think it should take me too long um especially if i i think i might continue reading it on my kindle because i seem to read fast on there i think everyone reads fast on kindles i don't know why it's a weird thing um it's saying i have oh that's the wrong book it's saying that i have just over three hours left on here so i think i'm going to fi finish this today which is exciting okay so very exciting news i just got my first birthday present i was about to show you the side of my address then um it's my birthday on friday which is constantly the day after the readathon ends so this is a great week leading up to my birthday um i think this is from charlie um and i'm gonna open it i was gonna wait but i think i'm just gonna open it because i'm too excited <laughs> i just opened it and already best present i've ever received sad songs in a hotel room vinyl it's joshua bassett the love of my life i'm very much in my Josh era right now like all I want to do is listen look at him think about him talk about him this this is the best birthday present ever look at him and then on the back <sighs> and I'm in love <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the record player gonna give it a spin um also do you mind that there's a penny on there um I need to like I needed something to weigh down this, but not too much so it'd scratch the record. So I just put a penny on there and it works a charm. I'm sure there's going to be some record nerds telling me I'm doing this wrong, but look how pretty! And then on this side, you'll trash again. But let's give it a whirl. Oh. <laughs> I need to change the speed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they just fell asleep. Hello, um, editing Lily here. For some reason, I have lost the footage that explains the next portion of the vlog, but I spontaneously decided to rearrange my bookshelves um i can't remember why but it turns out great so here you go <laughs> Okay, so I think I have finished. I think I like it, but knowing me, I will probably change it up again next week. Um, but let me give you an overview. So here we have the TBR cart, um, which luckily I managed to fit my entire TBR onto here, which is nice. Um, it's just double sided at the back here and then here is where the bookshelf starts so on top we still have the Taylor Jenkins Reed shrine we've got the record player got the thing of all my bookmarks got 
Delaney Bryan as a spoon, you know, the essentials. Um, the collector's edition of Six of Crows. And then, oh, we've had a massacre here. <laughs> I'll clean it up in a minute. But here we have the start of my red books. And it's still alphabetical, so A and then all the way down. And on the bottom shelf, we have DVDs, Harry Potter books, and graphic novels. Oh, and Horror Store is like, it's like a weird shape and it wouldn't fit on my bookshelf, so I had to put it down here. And then if we move up onto these ones, we have, um, it continues on, so the last letter was H, and now it goes on to J, and it just goes round, and it goes round here, and then it goes up here because my issue was I could never reach the top shelf so I definitely have a lot more room now and I am very impressed with it I think it looks great okay so I have finally finished in my room um uh, what's it I've been doing it for like three hours Jesus and I think I'm finally going to read now not to be a film student but I'm guessing I'm on the third act because boy oh boy something has just got revealed and something like the last chapter just ended on a massive cliffhanger so you have not traveled back in time to the 1930s um i've got a little heatless hair curl in my hair um in case you're wondering what this strange hairstyle was um you're welcome for this fabulous look coming to Vogue. So my theory is looking less and less like it's gonna be true. Um, I guess we'll have to keep reading, but I may be eating my words soon. <laughs> Oops. Oh my God. <laughs> Something really big just happened in the book. It's annoying because I can't tell you. Um, I've got about 50 pages left and I'm absolutely devouring this book. No pun intended, maybe a little bit. <gasps> okay, something else just got revealed. Oh my god, this book is so good. <laughs> I definitely, I 100% got the killer wrong, but oh my god. <laughs> I have just finished Mina and the Undead. I absolutely loved it. Um, I think I'm going to give it four stars, maybe 4.5, because it was just everything that I wanted. It was so good. The one thing I didn't like, really, was the romance in the book. I, I just thought it, not rushed, but it was very... It just happened very early on. I think that's just because I'm used to like slow burns. Um, which wasn't to say that it was like a bad thing in the book. I, It just wasn't for me. Um, and also my theory about the killer was completely wrong. Um, so now I feel bad for hating on that character. Because there was nothing wrong with them. I'm not going to tell you who it was because I, I feel like that would give spoilers away. But yeah, I absolutely adored this book and I'm so happy that I read it. I kind of want to read it all over again. It was it was giving like teen horror, kind of like the same sort of vibe as Fear Street, um, but with vampires. And it was so good and I had loads of 90s references and I also made a playlist um, dedicated to the book. You know when I make a book playlist is when I love a book. Um, but yeah i absolutely love this i feel like i've hardly seen anything about it as well so it deserves way more hype because it is just pure genius and amy mccall you've got a new fan i loved it i loved it i want to read the second book right now i saw the second book in my water stains the other day and i almost picked it up and i was like no i haven't read the first one yet but i really wish i had because i would jump into it right now so good.
internet i would just like to pop on this morning and say that i tried to read some more of this last night i think i got to about chapter six and i don't think i'm going to continue with it i don't like the way that they're talking about the um young girl that's been murdered she's basically 16 and every single person's comment on her has been oh she was so young she was so pretty like they're all commenting on how pretty she was and how she had such a good life in front of her because she was so pretty and i'm like this is a 16 year old girl and the protagonist in this story is a woman i like maybe under not understand but like i don't know i feel like it's more fitting if it was a man describing her this way not that that's right or anything but i don't i feel i can see why they're doing it because i think it alludes to um the protagonist's um past i think like a similar thing happened to her but i just don't think i can go on with it it was really grating on me and yeah although i would say this is kind of reading like a channel 4 crime drama do you know what i mean kind of like like a four-part series that you'd see them reacting to on gogglebox if you know you know you know yeah i don't think i'm gonna be continuing with this um i think i'm gonna dnf it i gave it a good go i got to about page 45 i think i know that's not very far in oh hello um, not for me um so we're gonna try and find another book so to change up my book that i read in the dark it's a nice and short one because we only have two days left of the readathon i'm very upset i kind of don't want it to end i've had such a good time but i think my book for the dark is gonna be Coraline by neil gaiman um i'm a big neil gaiman fan and i've read Coraline quite a few times I feel like it's just gonna be a nice little book to read in the dark and then today's reading plans we are going so last night i finished mina and the undead it was amazing i loved it um so today's reading plans is I'm gonna read pumpkin heads which is a graphic novel so it shouldn't take too long and then we're gonna try and find another book to read because we've got two days left and i want to fit in another book but i don't know what I have just finished Pumpkin Heads. It's such a cute little story. I love it so much. And now it's when we want it to be actual Halloween so we can have pumpkins. I am going to make my mission this year to go to a pumpkin patch because I've never been and I've always wanted to go and this book has just made me want to go even more. I've picked up my next read, which will be The Inheritance Games. I'm not sure if it is set in autumn, but it gives me autumn vibes. I think it's just because it reminds me of Knives Out. But we're going to roll with it. We're, we're moulding the the TBR. Um, I have read this before, but when I picked up the second one, I had like a year and a half in between both books and I couldn't really remember it. So I'm rereading this one so I can move on to the, on to the second one. Hello, friends. Um, I have just had a shower. I don't know the last time I vlogged. I think it was when I was starting the Inheritance Games. Now, I didn't get too far into it. Um, mainly on chapter 7, page 26. But I'm going to spend the next hour reading this book. And then I'm going to have a little spooky movie night. I'm going to watch Scream 4. For those who don't know, the Inheritance Games is about a girl called Avery. And one day she arrives at school and she's told immediately to go to the principal's office. And she's like a model student, perfect. Like she never gets told to go to the principal's office. And there she finds Grayson Hawthorne. And he's there to tell her that she needs to come to the Hawthorne residence immediately because Tobias Hawthorne has recently died and they need to read out the will. And when she arrives at the residence, she learns that Tobias Hawthorne, a man she's never previously met before, has left her his entire inheritance, including a billion dollar fortune and his estate, which is just ginormous. It basically gives Knives Out vibes, and I love Knives Out. Like, it is one of my all-time favourite films. Um, 
so that is pretty much the house that I'm picturing in my head when I read this book and I'm just waiting for Chris Evans to turn up it's that time of the night when I've got my my lovely hairdo um I am stopping reading inheritance games for the night I'm on page 77 chapter 19 um and now it's time to watch scream 4 I'm very excited I have just finished Scream 4, I really enjoyed it, I think it's my, I'd say it was my second favourite, obviously Scream 1, a classic, always number one, I think my order now goes Scream 4, no, <laughs> Scream, Scream 4, Scream 3, and then 2. It is quarter to 11, and I'm going to start cover line oh my god the drawings are so creepy in it wait what was the one i just saw oh, i don't like it but cover line is literally one of my favorite films ever Good morning friends. Um, so last night I got to oh that's annoying. I got to page 99 of Coraline. Um I might cheat a bit for this prompt and try and finish it today in the day. I mean I read half of the book at night, so I just want to get this done before the readathon ends and I'm not sure if I'll be able to tonight so I'm just gonna read it today and then obviously I didn't really read much of the inheritance games last night um I got to page 77 so still gonna try and read quite a bit of this today but my main priority is Coraline and then the inheritance games I can't believe today is the last day had such a blast i hope you've all had fun and i'm excited to do it again next year i have just finished coraline why was this one of the scariest books i have ever read especially last night reading it in the dark i was terrified i kept thinking the coats on the back of my door were the other mother terrifying and there's a scene in this book that where coraline goes to um, an empty flat and it is terrifying honestly out of all the horror books I've ever read this is the scariest one I've ever read and this I don't think it's even marketed as horror I'm going to go make some lunch now and then I think I might go on a walk and then when I get back continue with the inheritance games um, this is book number book number four of the readathon We've been reading nothing but bangers, apart from Don't Speak, but we don't, we don't speak about that. Hello, so I'm now home for my walk. Colin's here as well. And... Um, I'm very upset because the cows that I usually go see on my walk weren't in their usual field today. Um, although there were some more cows further up, but they weren't the cows that I like to stroke. They usually come over. You can stroke their little noses, but not these ones. These ones didn't want to see us, did they, Colin? So I'm now having a dreadful day. Um, my day is ruined. Don't know how I'm going to recover from this, you know. A bit hard, um, but... To make myself feel better i'm gonna continue reading the inheritance games i've also played some books on vintage that i don't really see myself reading and i got them before like i knew my reading tastes 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 so if you would like to go check them out i will leave my vintage account in the description um but yeah hello so it is now the end 
of Summer Ween. I managed to get up to page 150 in the, in the Inheritance Games. Um, I've read it before, but I'm really enjoying it. Fortunately, I didn't finish this before the end of Summer Ween, but I did manage to read four books, which I'm quite proud of. Um, I've had such a good week and I wish that I could do it all again. So I hope you have all enjoyed these last two vlogs. I know I have and I think I want to vlog more in the future. This marks the end of Summerween. Don't really know how to end it. <laughs> I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below if you have also participated in Summerween. Let me know what your completed TBR has been and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye!